Welcome to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we're going to talk about cocktail attire for men. If you receive an invitation that asks for cocktail attire, the proper thing to do is simply to adhere to it. But what does it really mean? Most of the time, this dress code is used for wedding invitations. So let me go over what you should wear if the dress code is cocktail attire for a wedding. First, you want a dark gray to mid gray suit, preferably solid. You can also have a light pattern like a, a glen check or a shark skin, but with solids, you're always right. If you must, navy works as well. Two, you should have a white dress shirt, maybe off-white, maybe pastel colors. You can also have maybe a white collar shirt with a striped body, but it should be somewhat formal. Do not wear brown shirts or purple shirts or turquoise shirts. That just looks awful. Next up comes the neckwear. You should definitely wear a tie, maybe a bow tie if you can get away with it, but usually for the wedding, stick with a tie because you don't want to take away attention from the bride and groom. Ideally, what you can wear is a color tie with a small pattern, like the one I'm wearing right now in purple with some paisley, or you can wear like a solid necktie, uh, like the one here. If you want some texture, like a knit tie like this one is good, or maybe a grenadine tie. You can also wear satin if it's an evening event, but I would usually stay away from that and go with something with a little more texture. If you don't know how to tie a tie, please check out our series on how to tie a necktie here. Since this is a more festive event, you want to go with a pocket square. If you have a white shirt, a white pocket square works. If you have a different kind of shirt, use a different kind of pocket square. If you don't know how to fold a pocket square, check out our video where we show exactly how to do it. For shoes, you should Preferably go with black dress shoes. That means leather sole and um, neatly polished black cap to Oxford is ideal. If you must, you can also get away with like a burgundy shoe. Try not to go with tan shoes or anything like that. No sneakers, no trainers. Black men's dress shoes, please. What's really important is that you wear over the calf socks because you never want to expose your hairy calves to the public. So make sure you get over the calf socks that ideally match your trousers and then you're just fine. If you want to add a dash of color, you can also use socks that are slightly contrasting, maybe picking up the color in your tie, but that's a little more advanced. So it's up to you. Make sure you have a good clean haircut um, trimmed in the back. If you have a beard, of course you want to be well groomed and it's all supposed to look neat. You should never wear a tuxedo when the invitation states cocktail attire because that's simply overdressed, it's wrong, and it's not an option. So if it says black tie optional, you can wear a tuxedo. But when it says cocktail attire, stick with a suit. Weddings are a personal thing. So if you go to an artist wedding and he's very colorful, of course you can add more color as well. Just remember, this is their day. Leave the pinstripe suits at home. Don't use flashy ties or accessories. Just keep it simple, wear your suit, be respectful and let them shine. If you go to a wedding that is extremely casual, like don't get all super dressed up, maybe in that case a, a blazer without neckwear and a pair of khakis is a better way to go because again, you do not want to outshine bride and groom. Now, what do you wear when it says cocktail party for a garden party or for an actual cocktail party? If it's in the afternoon, maybe after work, you can certainly add more colors. If you come straight from work, maybe just bring another tie that you can exchange that's a little more lively and uh, maybe a pocket square or a boutonniere flower to simply add that special character to it. You should never just show up in your regular business suit. Always try to create a little something extra. If it's a cocktail party in the evening, you can wear darker suits. You can maybe try to go with, with darker ties and have white pocket squares and darker shades. Again, no tuxedo, but um, 
maybe a boutonniere to make the whole thing pop. If it's an event during the day, like a garden party, I think a stroller suit would be extremely nice if it's more formal. If you want to learn more about this garment, check out this article. As a general rule, you should always keep in mind that more patterns, more colors make things stand out more. So ideally, if you're not quite comfortable yet, just start with one accent piece. Either you have a, a bolder color jacket or you have a, a strong red or yellow tie. Don't try to mix it all together. Try to go one accent piece at a time and if, if you feel more comfortable, maybe you can add two, but never overdo it. Chances are you already have the core pieces like the jacket, the suit and the shirts in your wardrobe. But if you want to create a unique look with that boutonniere, that pocket square or the tie, check out our selection of Fort Belvedere things. Everything you see here is available in our shop and much more. Take a look. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to sign up to our newsletter or subscribe to our channel on YouTube and you will never miss a video again. And thank you for watching.